Oh. Hey YouTubers, thanks for checking in on day two. I almost didn't do this video today because I was feeling dizzy today and last night even during the night when I woke up I was feeling dizzy. So I almost didn't do this video but the reason I did is because I committed to you and to myself that I was going to do these videos. So I wanted to give you an update. As you can see, I cleaned in the bedroom here. It's not perfect, but it's still a lot better than it was. And so every little step you make, you've got to applaud yourself for it and you know, be grateful that you got done what you got done. So that's what I was doing. I met with Wendy Griner today at Q Infotech here in Mankato, which is where I'm from. She helped me to realize that building an online course takes a lot of time, which is fine if that's what, you know, if you have a lot of time to get this thing built up. I know I've seen, you know, build your course, online course for 60 days. But that's one of those, we're going to give you a little bit of information and then we're going to try to hook you and then you got to pay for the rest of the information that we really need to get things accomplished. I don't like that style and so I was trying to figure out a way, well how can I, how can I create content but I don't want to feel like I'm hooking people because I don't like the way that feels when it's like oh here's all this great information but it's really not all the information it's just bits and pieces of it and you really need to pay for this course in order to really get the information and great you know that works for a lot of people but that just doesn't feel good to me so I want to build some sort of course that I'm really looking at pay what it's worth. What is it worth to you, the information that you just got from whatever, watching whatever? Because let's be honest, it takes time for me to do these things. I have my phone that I'm using. I have lights that I've purchased to make the production of this video a little bit better. So in order to have all these things, and I guess, you know, I could sit in the dark and that would, I suppose, be fine. But if you want to give good quality, that costs something. So there's that line of, well, you know, I'm investing my time and my energy and that's worth something. But also, I just want to help people. <sighs> So yeah, I don't know. I struggle with, what do I do? Do I just build this course and just have it be, you pay me what you think that it was worth? But then how seriously will people take it? I use an example of a teenager that gets the car just handed to them from mom and dad. They might not take as good a care of that car as the teenager who had to work and earn the money to get the car. So when you put a dollar value on something, I think people treat it differently, take it more seriously. So still trying to figure that out. So comments, share in the comments below. What do you think about, do you do an online course that's just free to everybody all the time? Or do you do, okay, the first 30 people that sign up, it's free, but too bad if you miss out, then you got to pay. You know, what is it? Because I want this to kind of be a business, really. Anyhow, I met with Wendy and she helped me kind of go through, well, do I do a website? Do I do a Facebook page? what's the way to kind of get the word out in the first place of what I'm doing and as you know, we're going through all that and we spent about an hour uh, about an hour and 15 minutes just kind of really trying to grind through all this what is it 
And then at the end of our meeting, I said, hey, did Shane from Quality Asphalt Services, um, he's a friend of mine and in a networking group with me, I said, did Shane show you the video that I did for him? And she's like, no, he needs a video for the website that I'm doing for him. So, and this stuff gets me jazzed up because I'm helping, I'm helping people. That's what I like. So I showed it to her and she goes, oh, you gotta send me that so I can put that on his website. And so I, you know, I got that sent off to her. And then I sent her a message later on saying, hey, you know, I can come and make a video for your business too. My parents, or my dad, was an auto mechanic. So he was in business for himself. And it's that small town kind of help each other out feel that I just really like. And so trying to find where I fit in to do that. Because, you know, if I help an individual, then I've helped that individual and perhaps um, and let me let me clarify if I help an individual with their health and wellness as a wellness coach providing that type of, of service you know I'm helping that person and the you know the people that they're in contact with but if I help a business owner a business owner has way more connections yeah they're an individual but their business reaches a lot of people too and if I can help them grow their business, I mean, again, it's that small town feel of helping, helping out the little guy that I really want to be part of what I'm doing. So she and I talked a little bit about possibly me doing videos for the small businesses because she said, a lot of businesses don't have video on their website so I can do that as a way to earn some income and then work on this other piece alongside of it so I kind of think that that's where I'm going with this is I, I do I, I'm a creative person I love to create and design things and make things so if I can create a video for the small business owners to help them get more business, then maybe they can help me expand my business of helping others with the wellness coaching. I just think we need to connect and we need to help each other out and that's how we're going to get the changes in the world. We can't do it by ourselves. We have to connect with other people on this planet to Create an environment that's a win-win for everybody. Um, so I guess that's my video for today. Like I said, I did some cleaning. Did I show you that? See, I can't even remember now. Um, so that feels good to look in here and not see a bunch of stuff piled on the bed and instead see a made-up bed. Looks good and it feels good too. Just having accomplished that one task helps so I guess if I have a challenge for any of you if you want one is to uh, come up with something that you can do that's a small thing but that can make you feel better I know for myself yesterday I knew that I wasn't going to be going anywhere but I still got dressed up I had a skirt on yesterday because I wanted, you guys couldn't see that in the video, but I wanted to feel like I, um, you know, kind of like put the power suit on kind of thing. And so if you're dressed in your pajamas all day, you're not going to feel as positive as you would if you get up and you get dressed and you do your hair and your makeup, if you wear makeup. So just something, it could be something that simple. Um, so yeah, that's, that, I guess that's my challenge. Find something that you can do that's small, but has really big return on the investment that you've put into it. Making the bed, 
didn't take a lot of time. I piled all the blankets that I had just kind of piled on the bed. I folded those up and they're all piled over in the corner now neatly. And then I made the bed and put the comforter back on. And it just, like I said, it looks so much nicer and it feels good to look in here and see that that's finally done. Um, what else do I want to talk about? I guess nothing. I'm done rambling. <laughs> um, Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in for day two of what's happening in my wild and crazy life. Oh, I know. I want to share with you. I applied for a job online in uh, Fargo, North Dakota, because my daughter lives up there. And I thought, ah, I'll look and see what jobs are up in Fargo. Maybe I'll move up there. And there was a job that said, you know, uh, wanted dynamic public speaker, comfortable speaking in front of 20 to 200 people, must um, in, enjoy and be enthusiastic about wellness and health and all of those things. And I thought, you know what, everything else in this um, ad, if you will, I don't know, job seeker ad or job whatever, Everything fits except for me having lived in Fargo for the last five years. That was the stipulation. And I called anyway, or I applied anyway. And I got a call back yesterday from this guy. And he said, well, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like the talent scout. And I really like, I like your personality. I like um, your energy. And he said, even though you don't live in Fargo, um, I'm going to call and tell them that I'm really impressed with you and um, we'll just wish you luck from this point on. Today, I did get a phone call from um, the gal that's kind of the, I guess, next level person. And her and I are going to be meeting on Monday. And the cool thing is that I've kind of always wanted to be a public speaker. And I've actually done some public speaking. I um, presented at... Let's see, what was it called? Um, oh, um, Sisters in Grace. And I, I presented, I think it was two years ago. And then I also did the, like a wealth and wellness seminar for two years in a row and was a speaker the second year. The first year I just had other people speak. But I was introducing people. And we had 60 people at each one of those events. So I... I like doing that kind of thing and I just think of the number of people that I could touch by doing that type of thing so you know I'm all over the place I'm open to anything and I'm and I'm willing to try anything within reason at least once uh, and if it feels okay I might try it again <laughs> but anyway I guess I'll know on Monday and I'm going to be, of course, doing my videos. Today is Friday, so I'll be doing a video Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday. I, I Maybe I'll wait until after that because uh, we're going to meeting at 1 o'clock. I'll just let you know what to watch for in my life. Um, it's kind of all over the place. So thanks for hanging in there. See ya.